In the second module, we will focus on adding horses to your horse list. I've already logged on to my Keeneland portfolio, and as you can see, the current sale is selected. With each new sale, you will need to build a horse list. By clicking on the Add Horse button, we can see that there are two ways to add horses. The selection Add a Hip enables me to add horses by specifying individual hip numbers. As an example, let's add hips 5, 10, 15, and 20. To do this, I type in the number 5 and press Enter. As you can see in the background, the hips are added to the list. I will continue to add the horses this way until I've entered my last horse. When finished, I click the Return button. The other way to add horses is to filter the catalog based on unique scenarios. To begin, click on the Add Horse button and select Add Multiple Hips. The first thing to notice is that we can only add horses from the current or upcoming sale. In this case, it's November 2010. In my first scenario, I'm interested in looking for pregnant mares where the covering sire is Giant's Causeway. To find these specific horses, I start by clicking the Add Filter button. By clicking the Please Select button, I can choose from 26 different filters. In my scenario, I want pregnant mares, so I will choose breeding status as my filter. And pregnant as my subfilter. As you can see, we went from 4,772 horses to 2,214 pregnant mares. Now we need to find mares that are pregnant to Giant's Causeway. So, I add a filter by pressing Add Filter. I choose the filter of Covering Sire. I can click on the List button and I can choose the sire whose names begin with G by clicking on G. From here, I click on Giant's Causeway and click Select. As an alternative navigation, I could have double clicked on G and double clicked on Giant's Causeway. As you can see, we went from 2,214 horses to 32 pregnant mares. Now, let's see which horses fit our scenario by clicking on the Search button. From this screen, you can sort the columns or apply additional filtering. By clicking on a column such as date of birth, the list will be sorted chronologically. I can also filter by typing information into any of these column headings. For example, if I type in UN in the sire column, I will see only horses where UN appears in their names. To return to the original filtered list, I click on the Reset button. As a rule, any time you see a field that is blue and underlined, this indicates a hot link to additional information. On this screen, the HIP number provides a hot link to a catalog page. If I'm interested in a horse or multiple horses on this list, I need to select them and add them to our list. You can select horses individually by clicking in these boxes. or you can select all the horses by using the Select button and choosing All. Or you can remove all the selections by clicking the Select button and choosing None.
in my scenario I want to add them all so I will click on the select button and all and then add them to my list the horses are added to my list and I have returned to the main screen I want to go through one more scenario that I believe will be helpful in this scenario I want racing or broodmare prospects whose sires are Distorted Humor, Smart Strike, or Tis Now. I start by clicking the Add Horse, then Add Multiple Horses. I add a filter and choose Sold As as my filter. And racing or broodmare prospect as my subfilter. From here, I could choose to add the sire filter, and I would have to run this three times, each for the different sires mentioned above. Instead, I'm going to press the search button and use the filtering available on the next screen. Now, I can click in the sire column and type in. DIST and find the six horses that are sided by distorted humor. I will select these. Now I'll find the horses that are sired by Smart Strike. I'll add these six horses. And finally, I want to find the horses that are sired by Tis now. I will select these. And now I'll add those 18 horses to my list. The horses are added to my list and I've returned to the main screen. This completes the module on how to add horses to your horse list. In the next module, we'll discuss the information presented on the screen and how to manage your list during the sale.